Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts open to your word, ready to receive your guidance and wisdom. As we reflect on today's readings, fill us with your spirit, that we may understand and live out your will in our lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Reading 1, Hosea 11, 3-4, 8-9. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms, but they did not realize it was I who healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with ties of love. To them I was like one who lifts a little child to the cheek, and I bent down to feed them. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, Israel? My heart is changed within me. All my compassion is aroused. I will not carry out my fierce anger, nor will I devastate Ephraim again. For I am God, and not a man, the Holy One among you. I will not come against their cities. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms 80 verses 2 and 3, 15 to 16. Awaken your might. Come and save us. Restore us. O oh God, make your face shine on us that we may be saved. The root your right hand has planted, the sun you have raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. At your rebuke your people perish. Gospel, Matthew 10 verses 7 to 15. As you go, proclaim this message, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received freely give do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts no bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff for the worker is worth his keep whatever town or village you enter search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave as you enter the home give it your greeting if the home is deserving let your peace rest on it if it is not let your peace return to you if anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Prayer, gracious God, thank you for your boundless love and mercy. Help us to recognize your guiding hand in our lives and to respond to your love with grateful hearts. As we go about our day, may we carry the message of your kingdom with us healing and giving freely as your disciples. Heavenly Father, we entrust this day to you. Lead us in your ways, and help us to live out our calling with joy and dedication. We ask all this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.